Welcome to Victory Church Craddock. Hi, good day, Victory Church. I hope you're well today. A couple of weeks ago, I was explaining that there are fundamentally two sort of governmental models around the world. I know you can tweak each model to come up with a bit of a different flavor, which some guys do. But basically, there are two models that are employed around the world in government structures. And let me just explain by using a triangle. The first one is the upright triangle, where the leaders will dictate to the people what they will do, how they will live, how they will behave. The set of rules will be established by a few people and dictated to the rest of the of the nation or the rest of the people so leaders dictating to the people it's a socialistic view or a communistic view of governmental leadership the second one that you can have a look at is an upside down triangle which is kind of like the democratic view the people vote their leaders into position and the leaders enforce what the people want it's a democratic view so you get the two in broad brush strokes sort of governmental models around the world and i want to propose that there's a third option and that is really a flat triangle which is a godly model or a biblical model which really means that there is no hierarchy in the kingdom of god nobody is better than anybody else a president of a country does not need to have more favor than a beggar on the street. In God's kingdom, every single person is equal in value and equal in substance. 100% equal. As men, we show favoritism. And it, unfortunately, it comes natural that we will show favoritism to somebody who's got money. Uh, maybe somebody who's got a high standing in society, we will show favor to them. But God says, do not show favoritism. So don't allow the man who's, who's wealthy to sit in the front row in a position of, of substance, yet the beggar comes in and you tell him to sit at the back on the floor. The Bible says, don't do that. Don't show favoritism. So the biblical model is really a model of a triangle that is flat on the ground where everybody is equal, we treat each other the same, and we move forward on a journey with God. Some people are ahead of others on the journey. So that's really the only difference, is that some people are ahead of others on the journey. God in his wisdom has initiated leaders. He says there'll be captains of tens, captains of fifties, and captains of hundreds. And God has put leaders in place to lead the people into truth. And so in the context of leadership within a church, there is no hierarchy, but definitely God has put people into place who we will honor. Hebrews 13 speaks about it. Hebrews 13 verse 17 says, honor your leaders. Doesn't mean that you place them on a pedestal. Doesn't mean that you show them favoritism. It just simply means we are all on an equal journey. Some are further in their journey than others. And what we are doing is we are honoring those that God has put in a leadership position. I hope that makes sense and uh, answers any questions you might have on that issue. Bless you and have a great day.